Hey guys, today I want to present a solution to the first problem of the ELMO 2023. At first, let's have a look on the problem statement. We have given a positive integer m. Now we are asked to find all polynomials p of x with integer coefficients such that for every integer n we can find an integer k satisfying p of k is equal to n to the power of m. When dealing with polynomials, it's always a good idea to have a look at zeros. Therefore, our first idea is to use this condition for n equals to zero and thus we get that there exists some k0 satisfying that p of k0 is equal to zero. To simplify the notation, I want to define the polynomial q of x to be equal to p of x plus k0. Then we have that q of 0 is equal to 0 and we clearly see that the polynomial q satisfies the given condition if and only if p satisfies the conditions. Moreover, since p has integer coefficients and k0 is an integer, we get that q has also integer coefficients and therefore we have that a must divide q of a. This motivates us to take a look at n equals to p, which should be a prime number, because here we get that there exists some integer kp such that q of kp is equal to p to the power of m, which implies that kp divides p to the power of m or kp is equal to plus minus p to the power of ap or sum ap less than or equal to m. Since ap is bounded from above by m and since there are infinitely many primes p, we know that there is some integer from 0 up to m such that there are infinitely many primes p with ap equals to this in integer. So we can write down that there exists some c in the set 0, 1, up to m such that there exists infinitely many primes p with a p equals c. Here we can define the polynomial q1 of x to be equal to q of x to the power of c minus x to the power of m. If we are in a case that there exists infinitely many primes p such that kp is equal to plus p to the power of c, we get that there are infinitely many primes p such that q1 of p is equal to zero. And therefore, since q is a polynomial, we conclude that q1 must be the zero polynomial. In this case, we conclude that q of x is equal to x to the power of m divided by c. Otherwise, we can define the polynomial q2 of x to be equal to q of minus x to the power of c minus x to the power of m. And then we get that q of x is equal to minus x to the power of m divided by c. Since q is a polynomial, we know that m divided by c must be an integer and therefore c is a divisor of m. So in total, we know that every solution p is in the set of polynomials of the form plus minus x minus k0 all to the power of d, where d is a divisor of m. And we indeed see that all these solutions here work and therefore we are done.